Hi there. Um, I'm back. Anyway, um, I was just thinking, we have talked a lot about, you know, accountability and not, you know, not, there are things that you can control. There are things you can't control. But the thing that you can control always is your reaction to whatever is happening, right? So something happens and whatever the thing after that is like something happens that you didn't choose and you didn't want and you can choose to let that dictate to you what your actions or your reaction is going to be or you can choose to a different choice right you can choose to react in a different way and that's accountability um that you know taking responsibility and ownership of your thoughts and your actions so that you then have ownership of um of the outcomes, right? So you're not powerless in this world. You, you are actually, you have all the power. You have all the power in your, in your world. You have all the power, you know, sure things, things in the outside world don't come together as maybe you want them to, but you can put yourself together inside in a different way. And that's completely up to you. Um, but so yeah, we've discussed this, but it's like, what is this? Like, what is this? Let's think about this differently thing. Because it's, if you're not used to that way of thinking, right? You're, you're, you say, okay, sure. It's all fine and good to say, react differently. It's all fine and good to say, you should think differently about that. But like what, without knowing how to do that, what good does that do you? Right? So, um, I've been thinking about this and um, you have to think about how you're framing things in your mind, right? Um, well, the first thing you want to, you want to be aware of is, is what your thought is, right? Cause your thought then gives like leads to your feeling and your feeling in general leads to your action, right? You're going to, you're going to behave based on whatever it is you're feeling because then you start feeling, thinking that your feeling is the truth when it's not feelings or feelings, not facts. Um, so you got to check your thought. You have to, you know, ask yourself, um, like, is, is, is what I'm thinking actually accurate? You know, it's the first, <clears throat> first place to start. One of the concepts in Buddhism is right thinking, right? It's on the, um, noble eightfold path, which is the fourth noble truth, I think. Um, but the first thing you do when in right thinking, you, well, I guess the first thing everybody has to do is like, okay, I'm feeling this gross feeling inside. I don't like this feeling, blah, right? So you have to start, you have to train yourself to become aware of it, right? You're aware of your reaction, aware of the negativity. Um, and that can take some doing if it's not something you look at. Um, so I keep saying, um, <laughs> so you become aware of your negativity and then you question yourself, well, why am I feeling this negativity? And it's because of a thought, right? What's this thought? So within right thinking, you the first thing you do is you ask yourself, like, are you sure? Are you sure that what you think is happening is actually what's happening? Because a lot of times we react like we have these mental schemas and these frameworks in our mind and we think we know what's happening what you know what's causing something or what someone else is thinking or what this means but we don't actually know because we just we think we know we have these assumptions that we don't know are assumptions because that's what an assumption is right so you have to ask yourself are you sure this is what's happening um you also have to then look at yourself and remind yourself to be present right present in the moment. Wait a second. Let me clear away all this other stuff. What am I doing right now? <sighs> what am I doing right now? And once you come into the present moment, you can take a better stock of the emotion that you're feeling. And there's a good chance that these emotions are habits, right? They're, they're habit energies. They're, they're your automatic reaction to things. And if an a, a reaction is automatic. You're not in charge of it, right? Don't you want to be in charge of your reactions? Um, if so, you're, it's like a robot. Like you're taking away your free will if you're just reacting out of a place of 
reaction, <laughs> automatic reaction, right? Um, so you want to recognize that and just kind of not judge yourself for it, right? You want to say hello, habit energy, as Thich Nhat Hanh writes in his books. I really love, th I love the idea of saying hello, habit energy. I see you there. And it's okay that you're here. You know what I mean? Like if you, <clears throat> if you tell yourself that your reaction is bad, you're just going to continue to feel bad, right? You're gonna, you're judging yourself, and um, and that's not gonna that's not gonna do anybody any good, right? Especially not you. So you just notice what it is you're feeling, what it is this reaction or this habit is. And I find it's easiest, it's the best if you, I mean, it takes a while, right? You identify what it is that you're feeling. Um, you know, whether is it outrage? Is it fear? Is it anxiety? Is it, I mean, because fear and anxiety are kind of the same thing, but they're slightly different, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, is it, you know, fear of judgment? Is it hurt? Is it assuming whatever it is, whatever it is, you gotta, you gotta identify it and then tell it it's okay. And I, I have many people inside of me that I talk to throughout the day. You tell it it's okay. Right? So, all right, jealousy and anger. I see you there. And it's okay. Why don't, you, why don't you come to the table? Sit down with me. Let's have a chat. Let's have a little chit chat. Um, and, you know, a lot of times if you do that, if you just accept that those are there, a lot of times they will lose their power, at least a little, over what you're thinking and what you're feeling and, and how you want to behave. Um, <laughs> where was I going with this? Um, anyway, my motivating thought to change my feelings is um because a lot of times like I I want I am going to get to the point where saying like I need to change this because I need to change how I'm feeling because you know I want I'm concerned about myself I think more about like the outside world and what am I doing to the outside world by feeling this way if I'm feeling anger and jealousy or um you know fear or whatever it is that I'm feeling, impatience, um, annoyance, whatever, those are energies, right? Those are energies that we are creating and sending out into the world. So what am I doing? I am literally making the world a place that's full, more full of fear, right? I'm adding to the fear out there. I'm adding to the judgment out there. I'm adding to the hurt and the pain and the anxiety. Like that's what I'm doing. Isn't it better for the for the universe, really, if I if I actually choose to put out good energy? If I if I choose to put out love, that means there's literally more love in the world, right? Isn't that what we want? If I choose to feel peaceful and accept things, that means there's a, a more there's more peace in the world rather than being there being more strife or more anger because we do not need more strife and anger right um if you want more kindness in the world right you got to be kind and i guess that kind of went off on a little bit but it's it's related right it's related um anyway check your thoughts out be aware of them. It takes a while though. It doesn't, it doesn't just happen overnight. You're like, oh, I want to be aware of my thoughts because you have these habits, right? You've got these habits, <clears throat> not just of habit. Well, it's all habit energy, but like you have your habits of thinking, you go automatically into them and you've got this like little path worn away in your brain where this electricity goes, right? Like it just, it, it knows where to go and there's literally a path worn out in your brain like like at, like you went through the forest a bunch of times um in the same in the same way and eventually that's how you go right because that's the path of least resistance and that's maybe it's even downhill right it's even easier to get down there um so you have to forge your own new path and that will take a while and it takes intention 
it takes intentionality. It takes choice, right? Like you got to get your machete out and just start hacking away at all that undergrowth and, and stuff like places you don't know where to go, right? It's unknown and it's uncomfortable, but it's worth doing. Um, because eventually you come to, um, what, what Buddhism calls, um, bodhicitta, I believe is how you pronounce it. Cause I've only ever really read it. Um, but it's this idea of the mind of love. You, you want to cultivate this understanding because the more you cultivate an understanding of others and of situations, the more forgiving, accepting and forgiving you can be, which means that you're choosing a reaction. I see I'm bringing it all back, right? You're choosing your reaction to be a more positive one, one that's going to help the world and help yourself. That's my thought for the day. Thank you for paying attention.